simple science. What do the kidneys do? Humans have a pair of bean-shaped organs called kidneys, whose job it is to remove urea, excess salts, and excess water from the blood, producing urine in a process known as excretion. If you cut a kidney in half, inside you would see a lightly coloured outer region called the cortex, a dark-coloured inner region called the medulla, and a funnel-shaped cavity called the renal pelvis that collects urine. The urine drains into the ureters and is stored in the bladder before being released through the urethra when we urinate. Each kidney contains about a million tiny tubular structures called nephrons, which are the basic functional parts of the kidneys. Blood containing the toxic waste product urea from the metabolism of protein is pumped under pressure through the renal arteries into tiny balls of capillaries called glomeruli. Each glomerulus is surrounded by a Bowman's capsule, which acts as a filter. The pressure the blood is under causes water, ions and small molecules to leak out of the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule. While the larger components of blood, such as blood cells and proteins, stay behind in the blood vessels. The filtered liquid, called ultrafiltrate, flows into the proximal convoluted tubules, where glucose, salts and water are reabsorbed and put back in the blood to be transported away through the renal veins. The remaining ultrafiltrate enters the loop of Henle, where salts and water are removed. In the thick segment of the ascending limb of the loop of Henle, sodium ions are actively pumped into the medulla, making it very salty. This draws water out from the filtrate in the descending limb by osmosis, a process in which water diffuses across a semi-permeable membrane from a region of high water concentration to a region of low water concentration. The loop of Henle creates a concentration difference or gradient along its length with the medulla tissue becoming increasingly salty the further away you go from the cortex. The ultrafiltrate in the distal convoluted tubules has a higher water concentration than blood plasma. Water is then reabsorbed by osmosis as it travels down the collecting ducts through the increasingly salty medulla. Antidiuretic hormone or ADH, secreted by the pituitary gland in the brain, can stimulate the kidneys to increase reabsorption of water. What remains at the end of this process is concentrated urine, containing urea, excess salts and water. This urine is hypertonic, containing more solute or dissolved solids in comparison to blood plasma.